that embassy. Okay. So in 2004, the European tribes came back to Haiti as proprietor and landowner, and they built the largest U.S. embassy in the Western Hemisphere in Haiti, and it is the fourth largest U.S. embassy in the world. While they're telling you we have no resources, they are building themselves a footprint that's bigger than all their other embassies, and, except for four. And what's three. the relevance of that? They need the place to store all they are acquiring. All in the different plundering. <laughs> mm -hmm. In different parts of Haiti right now, while people are sleeping or doing their own business, they are digging. Mm -hmm. What they dig, they take with the soil, with them. And when they leave, they just leave the hole right open. In the northern part of the country, where companies go to mine gold, when they take the gold out, they don't do anything with the soil to assist the people that are living there. So the resources that we have on the lands are being excavated and taken into cars and leaving at night. And beyond gold now, the other resources that are critically Petroleum. important. Oil. oil. Um, Haitian geologist says that Haiti's oil is bigger than Venezuela's oil, which has yeah. the biggest cachet. Mm -hmm. They say that Haiti's oil is a swimming pool to Venezuela's cup of water. Haiti, uh, also, you have to understand, how, where, how does oil come? Haiti is on a tectonic, four tectonic plates making that oil. It's on the Caribbean basin, the North American uh, tectonic plate, the South American tectonic plate, and the Atlantic tectonic plate. Massive oil, because that's how the, that's how what's the same thing with the Middle East. Okay, but another thing, Haiti has an extraterrestrial material that is found nowhere else in the world, except South Africa, and it's the purest in Haiti. Sixty-five million years ago, an asteroid landed in the, this space. Mm -hmm. We have an asteroid mountain in different places. We have mountains. Mm -hmm. They're made of asteroids. They use this asteroid because it's the remain of this asteroid that is so uh, uh, heat resistant that they use for spacecrafts. Mm -hmm. They have been, um, Professor Henry Vixamar of Haiti says one ton of Haiti's iridium. Iridium. I wanted to get to Iridium yeah. is worth $45 billion. Mm -hmm. We have mountains of it. So what the UN occupation is, is that they put soldiers and private military contractors in UN uniforms. They're everywhere in Haiti, digging out the mountains. You can and go to mocking. Haiti. And yes, you can, you, you can see, mm -hmm. like I, I was in Haiti one time and I saw 12 UN trucks with these uh, 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 dirt, black dirt, mm -hmm. just going through. I'm like. Mm -hmm. So they literally, since 1986, with the, the fall of Duvalier, mm -hmm. the U.S. military.